Uh, what's up guys? This is the Brokeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Little War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Portugal. And in this episode, uh, we are bringing our enormous navy to smash an Austrian stack. Now, we've got a few navies sailing around, but we've got, this is going to be the first one that we uh, attack as part of our great war against Austria. So let's crack on. They've owned the biggest thing they've got is force rates, so we are probably going to be fine. Well, we will be fine. I'm saying probably because I'm hedging my bets because I'm bad at naval battles. Um, yeah, we should be good. Um, I'm Depending on the condition of the fleet, I may or may not pursue the other fleets. Um, chiefly because... Oh, let me make sure I've not make sure I've got any... The heavies lead the way. No, heavy, heavy. Pick all my firsts except for the Admiral's flagship. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I may or may not pursue the other ships of the fleet. I may or may not pursue the ships of the fleet, but that's chiefly because their fleet can't really do anything. I mean, they're in a position where they can't actually... All our fleets are that much more superior. We don't really... We're not really exposed to their naval forces in a way that means we have to necessarily go after their fleets in a very brutal fashion. We can just dismantle them slowly and surely. And we do have plenty of bites to do on land. Just a second, everyone. Yeah, we do have some land campaigning that we can get going on. So let's not go too crazy with making sure that we wipe them out at sea. So we won't be taking any of these ships into our service. They may well sail ahead of me with one of these fourth rates, because that's usually what happens. But after that, we will be just opening fire on the rest of their fleet. And it's going to be glorious. Yeah, they are going they are going to cross our T kind of, but then we're going to cross theirs, so and we're doing it with heavy first rate ships of the line. So you know what? We can we can withstand a few broadsides from their fourth rates. That's not a problem. Yeah, we didn't kill any crew, didn't knock out any guns. So now as this guy sails to the other side, he killed one of my crew. Okay, so now we're, we've, we've opened fire on on the flunder. Yeah, we may be... Let's can see, we might be receiving a disproportionate amount of damage, but we have killed, we've lost one crewman. And our hull strength is... a bit vulnerable. Let's shred some masts. Shredding masts is important, because these ships are a lot faster than ours. So, knocking down masts will help slow them down. That one. Good. The bowsprit, I believe, is the correct term. That's gone. There goes your main. Continue the tradition, but you're just going to switch to round shot, pummel cormoran. There we go, there goes her foremast. Just 
get one of our third rates to try and scoot up here a bit quicker. Surrender, you've lost your you've lost your mizzen as well. It's gotta be game over for you, surely. You're on fire. Ooh, ceasefire, big fire. Just a round shot because you just can slam shots into the ship here. Keep pivoting. Yeah, big fire. Detach you from the. Oh no, okay, you're back in formation. Just let, let my ships have at it. You might keep firing chain just because you're going to be head first into the melee. You get to about here. We're not going to be using, we're underutilizing a lot of our ships. Hopefully make them surrender. A lot of carnage. And same into this ship. Durungan. We're waiting for Duran to get clear. Be a bit when you've got really good ships of the line, it can get a bit crazy trying to position them. You've surrendered, getting ready to engage the fifth rate. I do just love knocking down sails, I can't help it, I just do. Surrendered, good, you take this position. Some mast shot away. My round shots. Push up. To be honest, I might make a bunch of them go here. By the time they catch up, the enemy fleet would have moved. Open fire! You've shot away some of the main mast. Nope, I've accidentally clicked a bunch of you. 
you might stay pushing on, firing chain. You're going to keep firing round shot. Same with you. Give them a volley of chain. So you're a second rate. The thirds are going to have to move forward more slowly. go. Surrendered. Move on to the next. You're going to sail on. You guys are going to sail ahead. some of these ships to haul ass. You're definitely going to huck chain shot around. These guys are moving too quick. Don't like that one bit. Slow them down. Let's hobble them. Surrender in the fifth rate. All of you head this way. Guns ready to fire, should probably take down this heavy first. He's gonna have something to say about you. Slow down, spill the wind from your sails. Concerned because you're on fire, but you're gonna fire one broadside. Shot into her sails. Pivot, fire some more. Knock out one of those blasted masts. There we go. <laughs> oh, I do love it. Routing. It's not going to work. Oh, wavering. Ah. Came back. You're no longer on fire. Shout out Albatross. Okay, you better surrender. Excellent. Nice, nice, nice. I believe that is everything. Oh, no, it isn't. Get him!
probably... Well, they're not... No, they aren't withdrawing, because the state is not... They're not down as withdrawing as a ship. They are just redeploying. Definitely going to head their way with chain shot. We're going to want to prevent that speedy little fellow from making too much progress. He's heading right into us. couple of shots. I mean, chase, chase cannons. Excellent. some of the ropes holding at the main mast so they might be a bit more vulnerable. Maybe your turning circle's hit terrible. This first fish of the line's going to keep going towards side. And this heavy first rate is going <laughs> to smash more masts down. Continue just because you're routing, not surrendered. Excellent. So we're not going to take any of them into our service. We're going to take all the cash. We pretty much just wanted to deny their fleet a yeah eleven thousand eight hundred. And yeah, our ships aren't that damaged, but let's go back for repairs because we can, and because we know that they're. Their navy is not going to be not going to cause a decisive um, action because we block it. We blocked off the Adriatic. They might sail around and get up to something. I mean, this this fleet is just tiny. Bomb catch. You're not going to push over towards Istanbul yet. You're going to wait for reinforcements. You guys just start recruiting because we're going to send some chaps to get into a land near... Well, they're going to take Athens because it's currently unprotected. Then we're going to push on and take out Venice. This army could do with... <laughs> could do with being a bit better, frankly. You're going to push towards Iasi. What do we find? Nothing there because it's, it's just the garrison. Let's just take it. Hello, we've spotted some chaps. Okay, let's send... Garrison of Kiev this way. You're gonna push... You might... You just hit them. I think you may well do. You're gonna go siege Lviv, which brings in some reinforcements. You are going to push through Allied territory towards Vienna. 
you're going to hit them, then push on to Hungary, I would wager. You're going to hold, you're going to try and go for Munich. I mean, we're at war with Württemberg, but I'm curious to see what they do. Do they go for a bridge battle? Actually, that will be a huge bridge battle. You need... You need cover. Don't run too close. Well, no, it won't be a bridge battle. It might be a siege. But yeah, you'll need cover. These guys are more than enough to cover themselves. For now, let us focus on... Let's take you, Ronaldo de Nove, and engage Kaspar Speckbacker. And upgrade the mine. <laughs> cool. We will engage this reinforcing army that would have otherwise helped siege. Uh, lots of land militia, Swiss pikes, one unit of artillery. I think we're going to be okay. Let's push and destroy this Austrian force. The Monsauer armies in the Middle East are able to be brought to bear. I think the enemy is going to be in a lot of trouble. I'm assuming the Venice force is full of depleted half units. You know, they're all going to have, you know, 30 to 40 guys in it rather than 225. Because small nations do struggle to field massive armies. Okay, heavy horse guard. Ooh, that's a bit... It's a bit... Okay, right, it looks like it's sorted itself out. We have an excellent defensive position here, so I'm inclined to use it and bombard the enemy and see if we can derive the location of their reinforcements. Let's just hunker down. And see where they... If we can destroy some units, see where they come in from. Just use the unit of howitzers to engage their foot artillery. We don't need to send all of our artillery against it. my carabiner up. Stream Grenadiers. Oishmeister Regiment. Marines. Pikes. Swiss Pikes. Militia, Militia. Line Infantry. You guys have had a pretty good run. Spread out the cavalry. Cavalry is being engaged by our line. Okay, what's your shrapnel range like? Not far enough. Ooh, charging. My chaps will have reloaded by that by now. Foolish. Oh, that's a lot of dead cavalrymen. Ten gun crews. One unit drop quick climb onto their militia just to try to thin them out. There goes the enemy artillery. They will be allowed to withdraw. I think you're now at travel time. Oh, yeah. Shrapnel is just 
my favourite artillery shell. So slow mo. See, oh, good shot, good aim, boom. Oh, you clip the top of one pikeman's helmet. What about this one? Oh, there we go. And we're getting some good collateral damage effect back here. You're bugged, it looks like. Use my howitzers to focus on the right flank because they are <laughs> the right flank is where we are, we may get mobbed. Shot all shot away. You've aimed high, but you got some kills. Excellent. God, I love shrapnel shot. Annihilated that infantry unit. Horse guards go after the militia. Carabiner involved as well. Now they're starting to push up. Push up the engineers, push up the guerrillas. Push up my push up my cavalry on the flank. Excellent shooting. Fire present my deadly accurate carabiner fire. You might be pikemen. You might might be pikemen, but that's not enough. Crack climb coming in as well. Carnage. Chimen both engage the militia. Let's retarget my artillery. My lance is going to smash the tenth. Lance is dipped. Excellent. Advance and be recognised. Push in. Excellent shooting. <laughs> Killing so many men. Get my pikes, get my cavalry out of there. Push forward. Bring my cavalry back because the pikemen are wavering. Excellent. Engage. All artillery. Switch to round shot. Engage the general's bodyguard. OK. 
cavalry withdraw. Engage the pikemen. Just running away in time. No, oh, they're running too. It's, here comes the enemy reinforcements. Those are only skirmishes. Push, push, push. I should kill the rest of the Deutschmeier. There's only nine of them. Seven of them. Swiss Grenadiers, you might feel happy now. Oh no, they can quick climb you. Perfect, aim at them. Try not to kill too many of my own guys. You can see the quick climb coming in. Just push in. They're charging down to try and meet us. The e men just cease fire or just halt, put a volley into those Swiss Grenadiers. Down to 94 men. Ah, oh, no sound. It would have been a devastating volley, nonetheless. Now it's a switch to round shot, engage the Swiss line. They're engaging my general, but I don't really care. Just secure the top of the hill. General v general. Technically we should win this because we do outnumber them. And my irregulars get out of the way. Yes, my generals killed theirs in single combat. We might not kill them, but we're going to get close. Yes, we did kill their general. Nice, let's ceasefire. Oh, who is shooting at you then? Must just be weird friendly fire incidents. I see we could have killed them if I was a bit tighter. So the guns are there. You men try kill the Swiss line, but they're probably going to escape. Okay, we got them. The infantry's escaped to the other side of the map. Nice, nice, nice. Good destruction of an enemy force. Back you devils go. 
reinforce, then you, good sir, we will attack the city of Lviv. Sadly, these guys will not come in to reinforce, because they've probably run out of all their movement points. But let's take, take the city. Let's begin to squeeze in the eastern flank of the Austrian Empire. I think, yeah, we're going to be pushing on a lot of enemy towns next turn. I think this campaign is going to be going to wrap up pretty rapidly. Things have gone really well. It was, the, it was the conquering of India. We were able to do that so rapidly. Much more rapidly than normal. See that? Okay, right. Lot of artillery. This is going to be painful for the enemy. Push up like so. Split my guns up a little bit. Fire round shot, you'll just attack the center. You'll just attack their gun teams. See, it's not terrible. Once the enemy once we've created a breach, we can start quick climbing troops that are trying to defend it. Here comes the reinforcements. And not a bad little contingent really, you could put those to good use. The irregulars have lost half their strength. I'm not sure who the howitzers will aim for next, because they've killed their artillery unit here. Actually, they're not going to fire at anyone. So let's take you, you, you. And these fellows can push the right. And you two can try take this feature. Go get them, howitzers! Slaughter them! So the Jaegers might push out. Will we see any friendly fire? Let's run these guys a little bit. Get ahead of the guns. You guys are not firing. Quick climb coming in. Ugh. So many fallen Austrians. Okay, you men push up, secure the breach in its entirety. Send some heavy cavalry this way as well. Send two units, secure the center. Unit of garrison line infantry, garrison militia. You're counting on your reinforcements a lot to come in and save you. The pikes are a very good unit to try getting quicker. Uh, 
Okay, these guys are gonna break because they're outside of the walls. Yep, no bueno. Carpet bomb. See they're wavering because they're outside of the walls, they're gonna get picked off and pushed out. That's right, in you come. How it's just to keep attacking this area. So we might have to get some good hits. Good hit. Let's see, I wanted you guys to go in first. Guns provide some close fire support. Engage the enemy outside of the walls. Human push in, human push in. Gonna cease fire. You just shot a bunch of my marines in the back because you're super champs. One unit. Try get into here. Come on, push through. Push through. Let's see if we can skirmish some of the enemy troops. So you men push through. Charge the back of the armed citizenry. Good hits. You guys are causing a bit of mayhem. One of you. Oof! <laughs> That's bad news. 
bombard the center. No, don't get involved in anything. You men just put volleys into them. Skirmish mode. You men push around the breach. Use my cavalry to draw out the pikemen. Bring my general up. Yeah, cavalry's a bit upset. Push you guys around the rear. Mop up the artillery. Go after them. Marines chopping through the mercenaries. Oops. How it says. Go after the garrison guards. Which I think you guys. Probably best served going after those units. Killed one enemy general. <laughs> you guys are just not in great shape. Push through, push through. Broken, perfect artillery, engage the line infantry. How it says, not yet in a position, I'm not yet in a frame of mind to do danger close collateral damage strikes. Even push in. Okay, you guys. Scale the walls up the flank. Engage. Artillery shots. How to shot ceasefire? Mortar shot ceasefire. Well, that's really cool. Because you've done enough damage here, these guys can't actually get down. So it's melee shots across the board. Melee, melee attack across the board for them. Come on, it's one... Horse artillery unit. Can you not kill him? Go after them first then. It's only the one guy. Let's mop up the other unit. It might cause the whole whole army to break. Killed them all, it's just this one guy. Although if he's not gonna do anything, I'm just gonna sit here on the central square. If he's just gonna stand there, it's probably better off. I'm probably better off just doing this. And getting the counter take down and start hauling down their rag of a flag. Hiding behind the ramp. <laughs> yep, 
These guys are climbing up and down the steps for some god awful reason. Engage the Gurida mercenaries, they're your own kind. Push across. Fourth foot guards. We're going to concern these fellows by attacking them in the rear. We've only got 30 seconds. There we go, charge. Charge, push, kill them all. However, the end is nigh. The battle is over, the timer has counted down. And you could have done something about it, but didn't. Still, really messy battle. It didn't really didn't help that uh, <laughs> that central walkway collapsed, but there we go, my army's still intact. Let's just pop out a minute, kill you. Very sure everybody except for the artillery can make it. You all replenish. Let's do, do the traditional conquerors duty and repair the city that we've just taken over. Yeah, why the hell not? Okay, you men push towards this gap. Oh, you might actually... Well, no, I was about to say they might, they might have some more troops to push down to here, but I don't think we will, because we've got a lot of troops over here waiting to commit. You could, in theory, commit. But I want a couple of other units to be in position as well. So everyone's advancing. Let's hit and turn and see. Oh, Konya, here you are being destroyed. Good. Let's hit and turn and see how Austria responds to this carnage. More ships. Maneuvering. Uh, they want to protect the capital. A reasonable strategy. But one that will not bear fruit. You may blockade our ports, but you will not prevent us access to the sea. You want Karelia for Finland. No. You want to make something of this, Sweden, you can make something of it. Once we gobble up Austria, who do you think we're going to go after next? Because the one, the country we're going to leave last is Saxony. They are our child. They exist only because we wish them to. I mean, I need to kill Genoa as well. No, Genoa. You can't just, wait, you can't just run around us. Ooh. This could be really interesting. And chaotic and carnage as well. I need to make a breach with my walls. This is going to be... I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be fun. Even if they take Strasbourg, we're going to do so much damage, they're going to be screwed. But yes, we want to create a breach in the wall with our own guns and then just farm it. Farm it, farm it, farm it. But looking at the timer... I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.